Welcome back on Rap Star. So today we're gonna be unboxing this. This is the Mercuses Halo S12 AC1200 mesh router. So this just came in the mail today, and the reason we bought this one is because it's a lot cheaper than the other brands like Asus or the PP Link Deco. This one we only got for 3,499 Philippine pesos or around 70 US dollars. So it's very cheap for a mesh router with dual band. So let's get to the unboxings. So, so originally we have the range extender because recently we just uh, upgraded our internet and we thought that it would be good if we upgraded our router also so the difference between a mesh router and a range extender is that with the range extender like for example you move uh, to the different uh, part of your house and you lose connection to the main router with the range extender you, you have to disconnect to the main router then connect to the range extender just for you to get a connection again but with mesh uh, wi-fi system it has what we call handoff so that's which is similar to the technology being used by cell towers so like for example you lose connection to the main router as you move throughout the house you don't have to connect manually just to get connection again. So it will uh, automatically transfer you to uh, transfer you to another one of the router for you to have a connection again. So here it is. So later we're, we're gonna talk about the difference between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz but first we have to unbox this first so let's show you guys the box here it is it says mercuses here let's put this in the center let's hope it's in focus so it says mercuses ac1200 whole home mesh wi-fi system and it can cover around 300 the 3,500 square feet or around 320 square meters. We don't know if that's enough for our house. And Halo S12. So the Halo S3 is just 2.4 gigahertz. This one has the 5 gigahertz as well. So it has one unified network, seamless roaming, which uh, we talked about a while ago, and one top expansion. So here's the specs. So 300 Mbps on 2.4 GHz and 867 Mbps on 5 GHz. So it's around 1200 which is why it's AC 1200. So okay, so not important, not important. It has three Halo yes, not important. Then at the back, seamless roaming, expand uh, anytime, self feeling and all that. And on your side. Has a new MIMO, high speed dual band, whole home coverage, seamless roaming, so all that. And at the bottom, there's nothing there. So let's just unbox starting from the top. So, okay. There you have it at the top. So here's the quick installation guide. I don't know if we're gonna need this one or we're just gonna look at the internet on how to install this one. Okay, set so that aside. Then we get the first one. Well, this is actually very small. It's a cube. So, but. Okay. 
speakers, the power port, then the internet cables, then reset button, then there's nothing on the side, in front it says pair, so it's very easy to connect to each other, just click pair. So at the bottom, there's nothing there, there's some holes for ventilation, and then you get another two, because this is a three pack. Package so okay, just the same. Then one Ethernet cable. This is for the connection for the modem and the first router, the main router. So you have you don't have uh to connect the other routers through cable. You can do that wirelessly. That's why you just have one. But if you want to connect them. Uh, through cable for a better uh, connection for a more stable connection that's possible as well but we don't want to do that here because we don't need that then the power cable we also, we're gonna get three of these okay, here it is So now let's talk about the difference between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. So with 2.4 GHz, the pros of that is that it, it has a larger coverage than the 5 GHz because it's better at penetrating solid objects. So uh, if, you, if you can... Um, you can notice sometimes when you're far from your router, you can only uh, connect to the 2.4 GHz and not the 5 GHz because of that. So, but the cons is that since many, uh, many devices use that frequency as well, like microwave oven and Bluetooth devices, you get a lot of interference. So, if you can Notice sometimes when you are using your Bluetooth headphones while well connected to the Wi-Fi, sometimes you lose, uh, or uh, you lose connection to your Wi-Fi, or it gets um, slower if you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz, which always happens here at our home. So that's why we got this in dual band, so we can surf the web while connected to the Bluetooth. It also has a lower data rate compared to the 5 gigahertz but the 5 gigahertz the pros is that it has a higher data rate and it's less prone to interference because fewer devices are using the same frequency so the cons however is that it has a smaller coverage area and it doesn't penetrate walls that well so that's the main difference of the two so if uh, if you don't want to dive in very much further that's the information that you need so we're gonna set this up and let's hope that we're gonna be successful so we'll get back to you guys and talk about them later so okay okay so first you actually have to turn off everything so turn off Remove the old router. Disconnect. It came with this Ethernet cable, but we're not going to use that. We already have one installed here. So we're just going to use that instead. Connect. And then power okay doesn't want to go in so we're gonna have to find a slot so then like that okay All right and then it says um, Power on the router and wait for it to start. 
turn on the modem. Okay, so we actually have to let the router turn on first. I don't see the... Oh, there you go. Okay, I don't see any lights. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's on. Now we turn on the modem. Okay. So now that we are on. Oh, maybe just to be safe, let's wait for the modem to initialize. Fiber takes a while. Let's just wait a moment. So we're gonna configure the network now. So let's get to the browser. Okay, so now we connect to the router. As you see here, it says Mercuses underscore A1A2. So let's just follow the instruction pamphlet. We go to a.net. Okay, next page. Um, follow the step by step instructions of quick setup. Okay, so we have to create first. Um, wait. Let's just say our password right now is um, return. Okay. Return. And then create. Is it doing that now? Yeah. Um, and then. We go to quick setup, um, dynamic, detect, and then maybe we go, wait, did it do something? Okay, let's detect again. Maybe we go next. Okay. Wireless network name. Let's name it um, Galaxy. Okay, and then our password is, let's just say it's return. Next. Password must be more than eight characters. Okay. Let's just say return, return. Then next to add the new Halo device, complete the following procedures. Maybe let's just do this later on. So let's just uh, skip. Click the save button. Okay, let's see. Save. Did it save? Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see. Yep, we're in. It's actually very simple. Now we just have to figure out how to set up the additional two routers. So, let's just wait for the speed test to finish. And just read the instructions. Alright, so there you go. Okay, so... We're not going to need this anymore because the instruction for this is just for the main router. So to connect additional um, routers, we plug in the new device close to this router. Okay, so like this one, we wait for this one to actually pair, oh, uh, to initialize first. Let's wait for some sort of light to come out. All right, that's blinking red, so I guess that is ready. 
So press the pair button on this router. So we press this pair. No, okay, it's red. And then press the button on the new device within five minutes. So press that one. Okay, so now it's blinking red fast. Now it's slow. I don't know what we're waiting for. Maybe we should wait for them to um, blink green or something. Yeah, the process is gonna take a while. Maybe a few minutes. There. Oh yeah. The, the, I saw a green light over here. Maybe it's almost done. Oh, look. Done. The device is successfully added to your mesh network. So I guess that's it. So let's do that for the third one. Okay, so I suppose if we plug this one off, it should be good already. There's a red light over there. So I guess that one's already paired. Okay, so let's unplug this one. So this one is good. Let's go over to the other one. Let's add another one. Okay, power. It's thinking red. Let's just wait for it to initialize. There you go. Now we do the same process. We press pair on the main and then we press the pair on the other one. Okay, so initially it's gonna be blinking like an amber, something orange, and now it's red. So again, we have to wait a while. And then we just wait for something to pop up over here. That should prompt us that the connection has been made successfully. Okay, let's just wait. Something coming up here? Nope, not yet. Okay. So now it says done, the device is successfully added to your mesh network. So let's click on complete. Let's wait for some devices to pop out. Hmm. Let's just, yep, there you go. So the star, I guess that is the main. And then the, this one is online, so this is the new one. And then Halo S12 is offline because this is not plugged in. So there you go. That's pretty simple. So right after this video, we're going to change the password to our preferred password for the uh, uh, root account and the actual router. So um, I don't know. Maybe we're going to do... A separate review maybe after a week or so regarding the status connection if it's stable and the range but uh, for now guys thank you for very much uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for another unwrap star video so thank you bye